Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad, wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam, amma ba'da, habatifillah. From the trends that we find in this day and age, which has unfortunately affected the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and affected the mu'minat, the believing women, is that they wear perfume and they beautify themselves and go out in public. And they take it lightly. And in fact, it is one of the major sins. And it is so, a great source of fitna for the men. And it is a great source of fitna for those women because it could be one of the reasons for them to enter into the hellfire. So I admonish myself and the believing women everywhere to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoid being a fitna for the opposite sex. And avoid perfuming yourselves and beautifying yourselves and going out in public and thinking that it's okay to be a Muslim fashion model on the internet and on the YouTube and on the uh, social media uh, circuit in order to please the people and displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet والسلام, said, any woman who applies perfume and then goes out amongst the people so that they could smell her fragrance is a zaniya. She's an adulteress. This is what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the one who called those women zaniya. Those women adulteresses. Wa'iyadhan billah. And so it lets us know that this is a nur. That this is a wasila. This is a means to zina. Even if the woman is far from doing those actions. It is one of the khutuwat, it's one of the footsteps, and it's a means of disobedience, and it's a major sin. Because the Prophet wasallam would not have described it as such if that were not the case. So it's imperative that we also reflect and look at how we deal with our children. For example, many of the people encourage their little children. They may have beautiful young girl children or male children or whatever the case may be that are handsome. And they want to encourage them to be models. They want to encourage them to actually make it their livelihood to show themselves to the people and be disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because this puts in their mind so that in the future it will be nothing for them. And it will be easy for them to do disobedient acts to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you gave them that tarbiyah. You're the one who showed them that it's okay to be, uh, to show off and show, display your beauty. To display those characteristics which Allah doesn't even look at. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks at what is in your hearts and your deeds. Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, inna Allah la yandru ila sadikum. The Prophet ﷺ said, Verily Allah does not look to your <clears throat> to your your uh, your outward appearance, nor to your beauty or how you display, but rather he looks to your heart and your deeds. So it's imperative, ahabatifillah, to fear Allah as much as you can. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.